The Berlin Marathon actually begins a day before the start, with a breakfast run. Basically, this is the slowest 6k run anyone has ever done. But there's a free breakfast at the end. The running is insignificant, the excitement unbelievable. It's all the joy of starting a race with none of the stress. The next day comes the main event. Two years ago this was my first marathon. 42 kilometers through the city I call home. It still feels special. With perfect weather, 40,000 participants and God knows how many people coming out to watch, the atmosphere was great. Dressed up runners, creative spectators, music everywhere. This year has already brought me some of the greatest running experience I've ever had. But they have taken their toll on my body and left me poorly prepared for this last race of the season. Long before the start I had come to terms with running a moderate time. But that wasn't going to stop me from giving it all I had. After about half distance, I slowly switched from enjoying the run to enjoying the pain. And whenever a new muscle started hurting, the roadside party pushed me on. <laughs> By kilometer 35, I was no longer enjoying the pain. I was becoming the pain. I was dying, but people around me were dying harder and faster. After 40 kilometers, with two to go, I was overtaken by the pacemakers running three hours and 30 minutes. I didn't care too much about my time, but after running a whole race in front of those black balloons, I sure as hell didn't want to finish behind them. I floored the throttle, but all I could do was damage control. The pacemakers were slowly pulling away. Two years ago, this point was my favorite part of the marathon. Turning onto the final straight and seeing the Brandenburg Gate. Now I could only see the black balloons in front of me. The scenery was barely more than a blur. It took all I got, and maybe a bit more, but I made it. About 100 meters before the finish, I overtook the ten black balloons. Across the finish line, after grabbing something to drink, I headed straight to the nearest patch of grass, lay down and stared at the clouds. A loudspeaker next to me providing the perfect soundtrack. I don't want to be your hero, I'm perfectly fine with being my own.